Lions TV, this is a new type of video. We're going for player ratings. Seems to be a big talking point amongst a lot of fans. Me and my mates have had a big chat earlier on on the WhatsApp group over who played well, who didn't play well. It's the biggest opinion a fan can have. As we know by now, frustrating 1-0 loss yesterday. Let's get straight into the starting eleven. Jordan Archer, he's had his critics. I've been one of them. Dave Martin's come into the club. And since he has, Jordan's had a, had a real rocket up his arse. Was, was great again yesterday. Couldn't fault him. Good couple of saves in the first half. Looks strong. His kick is still a lot to be desired. But, listen, he played well. And he couldn't be held at fault for their goal at all. He's just a great, great strike. So, for that reason, Jordan Archer, for me, gets a seven. One change in the defence, obviously, due to injuries. He started right back. Conor McLaughlin, back from international duty in Northern Ireland. Solid again for me. Been one of the best players this season. They had a, they had a good threat coming forward down both sides, Brentford. And I feel that, that Conor dealt with that very, very well. He's very good going forward as well, isn't he? As, as he's merited if he drops, I'll get on to shortly. But for me, again, Conor McLaughlin done well again yesterday. Also, he's going to get a seven. Switching sides to left back, James Meredith. He, he done all right yesterday, Meredith. Didn't do as well as McLaughlin, I felt. Again, you know, he likes to get forward. He's very strong in the tackle. They was, they was under the cosh, as I've already said, the, uh, the fullbacks yesterday. Under the cosh, of being, Brentford, I felt, were very good attacking. They was direct, uh, very much so, on the wings and got a lot of balls into the box. But Meredith held his own. Got forward well again. He's, he's tenacious. He's very strong. He's like a little bulldozer at left back. But he got substituted. And for that reason, I'm going to give him a six. Sean Hutchinson captain the side yesterday in Steve Morrison's absence. It was one that I wanted to see. It was one that fans wanted to see. Big call for him to be skipper, and he was. He's gone from strength to strength. His first season with us, he had his injury worries, but he, he, he seems to have them behind him. That touch wood, and he's really, really bombing on. For me, he's been up there. He's been better than Byron this season. Byron's been superb, but I think he's actually been the better of the two centre halves so far. He captained the side yesterday. He did a very good job. There was a lot of aerial threat in the box from crosses out wide from Brentford, and, and he stood strong, Sean Hutchinson. He's also going to get a seven from me. Part of him, obviously, is Jake Cooper coming for his second start of the season. His first was at Notts Forest, first game of the season. I, listen, I love Jake Cooper. I love what he's about. He's very young. He's left-footed, which also gives us a bit of balance. And in time, I think he'll be a great asset to our club. But he, he looks a little bit, which is fair enough. He was a little bit rusty yesterday. He hasn't had a lot of first-team time, only coming off the bench in a few games. And he put a few wayward clearances, a, few, a little bit panicky at times almost, Jake. But great player. I'm looking for big things for him in the future. Jake Cooper gets a five. Moving into the midfield, it wasn't what we was expecting. I was expecting AOB to be on the left and Tom Elliott to be up front. It wasn't that way. Shane Ferguson playing the left. Listen, Shane Ferguson is technically very good and he gives us that little bit of balance which we also obviously need, but it just doesn't do enough for me. I don't want to go on and on about it, but yes, he's technically good. Other than that, it just doesn't do enough in the game for me and I think that's why he can't break into the starting eleven. For me, Shane Ferguson yesterday gets a five. Switching wings. This man, superb yesterday. Man of the match for me. Seven and a half for Jed. Just, he's involved in everything good that's going forward for us. I feel he, he, he feels the pressure a little bit, though. The, the weight of expectancy on his shoulders. Attacking. He flies at him, doesn't he? It took two great efforts yesterday. If it weren't for the fact that Brentford had a very good goalkeeper, then, then you know it could have been a very different story. We could have been walking out there with a result and Jed could have had a brace to his name. But man of the match for me yesterday, 7.5, Jed Wallace. Go on, Jed Fernley. Moving into central midfield. I tell you what, how much are we missing this guy? Sean Williams. People weren't having him. I've always said he was a great player. Wand this year, he's really come into his own, and I think the step up in divisions is, is really showing how much and how much of a good player he is, and how much we need him around us. Unfortunately, he's out for three months. As a result, George Savile, the central midfield, he hasn't looked as good since Williams has been out of side, which is to be expected. To say him and Tony Cliff need time to get an understanding. They need time to click. He worked hard yesterday. Says he seemed like he faded out to me a little bit in the second half, and for that reason, George Savile gets a six. Moving into his central midfield partnership yesterday was Ryan Tunnicliffe. Again, we haven't seen a lot of Tunnicliffe. He's been thrown in the deep end where you know, he came in from Fulham on a free transfer just as the season started and, and he hasn't had a lot of game time. He's looking to get fit. For me, this was the biggest, this was the biggest downfall yesterday of, of our result. Ben Thompson for me in a London derby, chomping a bit, tenacious. He has to start the match and Tunnicliffe has to wait his chance. Tunnicliffe, okay, technically he's good, but the game just seems to pass him by by me. He doesn't seem to get involved much. I'm hoping that that's just, you know, Tony Cliff just isn't fit yet, and that's the reason he's not really getting into games. But to be honest, the game sent a passing by, so he didn't really notice he was out there at all. And for that reason, Ryan Tony Cliff gets a five. Moving on to the forwards, AOB, the onion bag. He didn't find it yesterday. Listen, I love Aiden. I think he's a great, great talent, and, and, and he, he wanted his chance up front. He got it. He, I don't think he's a forward, but I don't think he's a left midfielder. So where does Aiden play? It's, 
it begs the question. It's a very, very big question. But listen, Aiden's got a lot of talent and he is very young. He either sets the game a lot or he doesn't do a lot. And yesterday, unfortunately, he didn't do too much up front. He didn't really, he didn't really make an impact at all for me. And for that reason, Aiden O'Brien gets a five. Okay, moving on, here we go. Finally, the big talking point. The main man, Lee Gregory. It's, it's a very, very tough one. Listen, people on his back saying he's missed too many penalties. Five, five out of 27 penalties isn't too sad, let me tell you, as a career. But Lee Gregory, again, similar to Jed, I feel, I feel that he's feeling the weight on his shoulders, especially with Morrow out of side. He was superb yesterday. He's all round play. Okay, listen, he's missed the chance in the first half and he's missed the penalty. That's 30 seconds out of a 90 minute game. He's all round plays, hold up plays, strength is superb. And let's have it right. His finishing at times can be a little bit hit and miss. But if he's converting 100% of his chances, as good as he is aside from that, he'd be playing for Man United. He would be playing for us. Done very, very well yesterday. S second half, remember, he held the play up with his back to goal. He spun and shot. Fantastic save again from Bentley. He, he was really he was a fool on our side yesterday, their goalkeeper. And also, let's not forget that Gregor's actually slapped the ball in that resulted in a penalty. But penalty, listen... It wasn't a great penalty. The goal to the goalkeeper's right seems to be his favourite side, and the goalkeeper has saved it comfortably. Maybe, uh, maybe let someone else have a go, eh, Greg? <laughs> so that's it. That's your lot. That's your first ever player ratings VT. I need to sit down now. Please let me know your thought it went. Comment below, and of course, please subscribe to Lions TV. Come on, you Lions.